Hello everybody, this is Aykut from System Craftsman. So today I will give you a short introduction on StreamZ Kafka CLI. Uh, it's a project that I created a while ago and still ongoing. So let's start. StreamZ Kafka CLI is a command line tool uh, that mimics the traditional Kafka uh, shell commands on, like on the right, right hand side so uh, we will be using this uh, commands as a scaffold uh, for our sample uh, in order to use streams Kafka CLI you have to install it with pip since this is a Python project and currently it has the version of uh, this it's it's an alpha version because it's not feature complete yet and it has a few dependencies for kubectl and streamz uh, binaries i mean the streamz yaml files and other stuff so uh, when you first hit the kfk command i choose that as kfk because it reminds us the kafka prefix of the uh, traditional kafka commands uh, and it has this uh, kind of three letter convention so when we hit the kfk command first for uh, for streams kafka CLI, it gives us a bunch of uh, command options here but for the first usage it will download this uh, kubectl and stream the binaries into your home path so Let's, for example, write this down, kfk version, and it will start to download first the kubectl's latest version. It's changeable, by the way, via uh, environment variables. I will tell you about this uh, later. And it downloaded the uh, latest streams version of this. So we we have this uh, at our our uh, home directory, but I won't give uh, I won't go in details right now for that. So uh, let me show you first that we have a project uh, or namespace. I d I decided to use OpenShift by the way for the demonstration. So. On the left, you can see that we have a namespace called Kafka, and uh, the streams itself is installed here. And we have three brokers of Kafka and three zookeepers. So we have a cluster actually named my cluster. And first, let's see this with our kfk command, our streams Kafka CLI. So when I write kfk, let's first do this if you like. Let's get the help and see that we have a clusters command and kfk clusters help again. We have this bunch of uh, options like cluster and list describe. Uh, describe as any format and the namespace so let's uh, list our clusters and see uh, how many clusters we have within this OpenShift cluster per namespace as you can see we have uh, three clusters this is our current cluster so we have to do stuff on this one so every time the streams the Kafka CLI will ask us for the cluster and the namespace so uh, with since I log into this cluster with OC CLI for OpenShift uh, my Credentials are saved in the 
cube uh, config file. So if you use uh, Kubernetes, you have to put those credentials in that file. If uh, even if you do that, the streams of Kafka CLI will require a always require a namespace and a cluster name of uh, streams. Uh, I did this because uh, you may be changing a clusters configuration, a topics configuration, maybe with the same name, maybe with the same name of a cluster uh, within a within another namespace. So uh, in order to prevent that, a uh, namespace is always uh, apart from this this command, namespace is always uh, required. So let's uh, create a topic in a very fast way. I will use this uh, traditional commands as scaffolds. Of course, we don't need, uh, need this zookeeper one. Uh, let's copy this part and let's do a kfk help again. As you can see, we have this topics command. So it's like Kafka topics command. It will remind us uh, of Kafka topics command. So what I will do is kfk topics and in this case it's a, oh, I couldn't copy those, sorry. Let me copy again. Yeah, paste it. So since this is a, a create, we have create here. And we have this topic name. We have the partitions and the replication factor. When I will run this, it will complain because yeah, it says we need the cluster option. So let's check this. Yeah, we have a bunch of options again here. So what we need is we we need is a cluster and a namespace. These two are required, as I said. And we have the other bunch of options like lists, create partitions, replication factor, which we already provided, describe. Uh, native for the describe, we will use that, delete, alter, config, and other stuff. So let me clear this. And again, this time I will put a minus C for cluster, and my cluster's name was my cluster. And when I hit this, yeah, it will complain about the namespace, and it's in within the uh, namespace of Kafka. So let's hit enter and create this topic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we created the message topic topic and let's see, let's describe it if you like. So kfk topics. Actually let's do this with the help of this one. Actually let's list it first, list, and I will copy the cluster and the namespace options because we need this in this case. As you can see we have our topic is listed. Now let's do a describe like here. Again I will use the same structure, kfk, topics, describe, and the topics name is message topic. And um, yeah, and I do again provide the cluster and the namespace name. So when I hit the describe, it will describe 
me the custom resource of the topic. So this is a Kubernetes native one. So let's say that I'm a old user of Kafka and yeah, this is fine, but I need to see the native uh, version of this topic described. So what I will do is I will put a native flag here and it will run the command within one of the pods and as you can see we described our topic with the native command uh, configurations the partition count replication factor the topics name yeah so let's uh, have a look at the console producer and console consumer commands. We will just uh, create a few messages on the console producer and we'll read those messages on the other side from the console consumer. So, what do we have for the console producer? We have this command like this. So, kfk console consumer console consumer I will hit help again and yeah we have the it's the same actually we have the topic topics name and nothing else and we need the again namespace and the cluster name so let's write topic what was the name of our topic? Uh, it was message topic. And the namespace, mines and Kafka, and my cluster, my cluster. Actually, let's. Okay. Let's say that this is the consumer. In another tab of in another tab, tab here, so let's write the console producer. We have again the same kind of stuff here and we don't need a config, config file yet because uh, there is no uh, defined ACS and other stuff. So, topic, uh, message, topic, and namespace is Kafka, cluster is my cluster. So let's say that hello world stream Z Kafka CLI and let's see if we get the messages and as you can see we have the messages here so let's try this with on the console consumer Let's say that it is from beginning. So it will show us just like the same with the native one because it does this stuff at the native side. And as you can see, it gets the uh, messages from beginning. So this is the console consumer and producer part that are implemented in streams the Kafka CLI let me clear the console and see what else we have for this uh, kind of demo yeah and we have the delete command so let's delete the topic and finish our demo 
Kafka uh, topics. Again, let's hit, hit the help. By the way, we have the other kind of options again, like alter uh, the add config, delete config, and other stuff. It's the same with the traditional command structure. Uh, so yeah, let's let's find our create topic one. Yeah, this one, and let's delete these parts and make it a delete so what we will do is just like the traditional command structure we use the kafka topics command uh, with the delete option so let's delete it yeah and let's say the kfk topics list again for the same class and as you can see we are able to see the consumer offsets uh, but not the uh, message topic topic that we recently created so I assume that's all today for this uh, small kind of demo thank you very much and see you later